Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 New Game Plus Law Play. My name is Silvermont or Alex, and I'm going to rest at the bonfire. You might notice we're looking a little bit different, and that's just because I've decided to. I mean, I've been using the same armor for like the whole playthrough, so I thought. So I thought I can speak. I might change things up just for maybe this part and like a few more, but more fashion souls. I love this armor. It's my probably my second favorite. And, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go. You are blessed with a myriad of souls. Bear so, yeah. the curse. Make your way to the castle. Castle. Okay, but first, let's level up. What should we level up? Uh, ah, let's keep doing adaptability, because who cares about, I don't think I need anything else. Oh, I will need some souls for other stuff, though. Uh, was that take me to 96? Whatever, it's it's all good. Or I could... And now I'll just take that to 20, I guess. I kind of tempted to do... No, no, that will do. Right. First things first, I want to go and speak with Ornifex. Let's go down to where she is then, shall we? Today we're going to try and do Castle Dung Lake. Mm, bash! Get smashed. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's. <laughs> uh, I'm very easily amused. This is the. What is this I'm using? The Gurm Great Hammer plus 8. It's nothing fantastic, but. I kind of like. To be honest. They're cool. Who doesn't like hammers? Bash people. Right, let's see if she remarks on Seath's soul. I nah. Oh, I thought she might say, Whoa, that is a good soul. Uh, I'm not gonna do this, but I'm gonna read the description. The blade of this great sword shines like the brilliant rays of the moon. In the oldest legends, rarely spoken of today, it is said that the sword was born of a great white being. The strong attack unleashes its strength, launching a wave of moonlight. Such a cool sword. I love how that weapon looks in all its incarnations. But I'm not going to get it yet. Because I want to get Crystal Soul Spear just for the achievement. So let's go and pay Stray to visit, shall we? Right, let's deal with these stupid enemies right here, shall we? Before they become a nuisance. I really dislike that they put these enemies here, so many of them. It's just irritating. I'm going to kill these two as well, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> you don't need to kill those guys when you're talking to Strayed, but I like to do it. Uh, let's talk about the soul, shall we? Old Pale Drake's soul, nothing interesting there, it's the same as all the others. Soul of the Rotten... No, not that. Soul of the... What? Where is it? Oh, there we are. Soul of the Duke's loyal Freya, the Writhing Ruin's Keeper. The Writhing Ruin is an ancient thing whose shadow remains cast over the land. Seldora is a place burdened by terrible misdeeds, and those who remained there were transformed beyond recognition. Huh. You could say that. Well, this is a most twisted soul. Very good. Very good indeed. Prepare to peer straight into the heart of magic. <laughs> oh, we'll do that all right. We will take Crystal Soul Spear. Soul Spear is sharpened through crystallization, pierces enemies causing heavy damage, superior to the most finely sharpened weapons. When we will do it precisely, it can take down several enemies at once. Yay, Master of Sorcery. Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> Actually, no, I can't. 
Not at the moment, anyway. Oh, right, that reminds me. There's actually one more thing we need to do in Sildora. Uh, we'll go... This one. Again. <laughs> Oh, we can all those guys, but uh, yeah, killing them. Um, oh, that was pretty close. Yeah, killing Creighton apparently he's made a sinner again. Ah, yeah, which kind of sucks. But as long as I'm not getting a constant stream of invasions every two seconds, it shouldn't really be a be a big issue, to be honest. I'm gonna just run through this area because I can't be bothered to fight all the enemies. I wonder how far they'll follow me. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Just checking, uh... Those dorks didn't respawn. These dorks do, though, respawn. Ugh, don't respawn, but they drop down, rather. Bash. I kind of need to upgrade this <laughs> to all the way to plus 10 if I want to use it, but... Oh, well, that's alright. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. There's a lot of recovery frames on that. Cool attack, though. Very good against uh, bosses to punish them. Very good for that. Does a load of damage. <laughs> Sildora trousers! And now we can go in here. First... Brightstone key. Oh, let's read the description of that, shall we? Hmm. Oh, we read that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. The eccentric Lord Seldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal fortune by mining Brightstone. One day, the town was overrun by spiders, but the Lord only stood by and watched, eerily contented. Which, again, seems to kind of imply to me that he was being manipulated by, uh, Seath. Not Seath of the Queefer. Please don't call him that. That's a bad name. <laughs> but, yeah. It... that seems to be... if you ask me, that's what happened. It's just flame swathe. Flame swoosh. Screw you spiders. Batter you to death. See what I mean? What is the point in having an attack that's so slow that the enemy can hit you whilst you're recovering and unable to do anything? It it just seems dumb to me. Like, it, I don't think that ever happened in Dark Souls 1, did it? Like, the enemy's recovery frames weren't so ridiculously fast. But whatever. Hey. Great fireball. Let's go back to the... Let's get out of here. And I'll read the descriptions in a moment. Oh, yes, we're back. And we're going to Castle Dranglick, which is this way, I think. And for first, these guys. Alright, yeah, I was going to read the description of the uh, Black Knight Ultra Greatsword, and the other thing wasn't I. Come on. Do you not come in here? Hmm, maybe not. Spear! Okay, let's read it now, quickly. Um, what do we want? Black Knight Ultra Great Sword, which will be all the way at the top. Oh, that's not it. Ultra Great Sword, wielded by knights who serve the Lord of Light in Long Broken Age. Even after the flesh was chopped by flame, they remain strong as ever and watch challenging witches to their land. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the Halberd description. And it's not really got anything too fascinating on it. Oh, maybe I should be Great Fireball. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. As soon as I kill these guys. They're dangling sacks. Ease push. Right, T ho, where is that spell? Great 
fireball, was it? Yeah, there we go. The strongest form of fireball creates a giant fireball that's hurled at foes. The exalted flame long pined after. Even if it would scorch our very flesh. You dick head. Yeah. Of course people they covet the flame. Even though it's bad for them. But hey. People wanting see what I mean? He managed to recover from being hit and hit me whilst I was between doing like my first and second hit. That's just stupid. And I don't like do not want but yeah. People want what is bad for them. That's uh you know, that's common. It happens a lot. I mean hell. You probably like something sugary and sweet that's super bad for you, I expect. Come on. This is the uh, Flexile Sentry Part 2. Kind of like Cap the Demon, isn't it? Let's try this out. Oh, that didn't actually kill him. That practically killed me, though. Screw you. Eat that. And die. Why is there one here? Could be guarding the way to uh, Castle Drang Lake. It should be Drang Lake Tower or something. Is it Castle Drang Lake or Drang Lake Castle? Oh, <laughs> that scared me. I didn't actually realise they did that. Oh crap! Why am I bothering with flame wave? Ah, whatever. Spooky. I, uh, huh. Yeah, we'll find out momentarily, won't we? I always get it confused with, you know, Drang Lake Castle, Castle Drang Lake. I guess it doesn't really matter what way round you say it, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, and this is the only thing stopping you from getting into Castle Drang Lake. It is literally this tiny ledge that a child could climb over. <laughs> Law wise it's this thing up ahead where you need big ass souls to open it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you can't get where that sign was without either hacking or using the uh, the unpatched version of the game which allows you to like jump from here to here and then you can like yeah <laughs> whatever. Speedrunners love to do that. Shrine of Winter. Some interesting things on the wall right here. They seem to be telling the history of presumably Dark Souls 1, because I mean you can see dragons in that one, but who really knows? More dragons and three, four people there. Could be the four kings, could be just random gods, who knows? These things people think look like serpents without their heads. It could be, yeah, I mean, they look kind of snaky. What it means, I I have no idea, man, you tell me. As I jump down there and kill myself. <laughs> and here we have... Repair. Oh, you know what I want to do? Because... Where's my rusted coins? Where are they? I want to use one of these because... And I'm going to swap to... I really want the armor these guys drop, which they never drop for me. I say never, I've not really... I've only killed, what, like two or three? Because, I mean, it doesn't... They can't drop it in your first playthrough, I believe. Oh, why didn't I enchant my weapon first? That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, he's still alive. Ouch. Well, why are you running in a weird-ass circle, man? Drop something! Oh, I can't believe he survived that. Come on. Oh, good, he dropped the, the best part. Awesome. That makes me happy. Happy in my pants. And that looks good. Not with this current armor, but... Looks cool. 
It's all raggedy and yeah. Chainmail worn by Heed Knights. Whether Heed refers to a kingdom, uh, I've already read that. Let's go back to using this, shall we? Man, this armor just looks so good. I'll read the description of it. The defender has stood by the. Yeah, that's boring as hell. I'm actually really surprised they. I mean, the throne defender and the throne watcher could have been like the coolest enemies in the game. They could have been like the new Ornstein, the new Smo, but they just have like no like flavor text to them at all. No, no law basically. They're just there, and it's entirely like how should I explain this? The only law there is something you would have to make up by yourself, pretty much. It would be entirely speculation. Damn it. And I think that's kind of a shame. Because they they look really cool. It's... Whatever. Ah. I'm really bad at using this... Yeah, now I'm dead. Whoops. Oh, I'll cut out the run back. Okay, and we're back. More or less where we were. I've actually completely forgotten what I was talking about. So, let's talk about something else. This area looks really damn cool. That guy is super annoying. He never follows you around the corner. I probably should have been smart the first time, but... <laughs> I'm gonna batter the crap out of you bastards. suck at using this weapon. It just looks cool. It's not the best looking hammer in the game, but it's the only one I had slightly upgraded. And a lot of the others need to be... Yeah! Oh! Crap. Can I kill him, do you think? What's the running attack like on this? That's great. That's a swacker. They should just rename that to the Crystal Lizard Whacker attack. Squish! Yeah, nice. Damn, look at that. It's such a stupid place to build a castle, really. Well, it it depends what you're building the castle for, but as a fortification, that's a great place, because, I mean, the enemies can only attack you from this, this long bridge thing. <laughs> I'm so eloquent with my words today, but... Yeah. As a fortification, it's great. And it just looks so cool. What do you think about it? Sorry, what do you think about it, Emerald Herald? This castle is isolated. Yeah, it is. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. To your journey and mine. She's so tall. Maybe my character's just a midget. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty tall. Right, here we go. Is this the end of the game? You know it's not the end of the game, unless this is your like first time watching, but... No, this isn't the end of the game, but... Uh, you could say this is Anolondo. Reverse Anolondo. Now these guys drop some pretty damn cool armor too. Whoa, black phantoms! Ow! Thousands of black phantoms. Or just one. That looked like two or three. My advice for this area? Just, uh... Go to America and get some cheese! They love cheese in America. When I went to, um... Minnesota in, uh, 2012. <laughs> Every... Like, everything had cheese with it. It's crazy. It wasn't really the best cheese either, if you ask me, but... It was kind of plasticky tasting at <laughs> that black phantom stuck in the middle. 
Move, you stupid fat elephants! I want to smash the guy! Hey, it's gonna be Hammer War! Alright, man. Your wish is my command. We shall duel with our hammers. Ow! Not very nice. I wonder if he can hit her. That would be really funny. Oh, that's not that funny, though. Come on, leave me alone. Let me heal. <laughs> Dickhead. Following me down here. I should push you off the edge. Now, let us commence dueling with our fabulous hammers. I'm gonna squash you! Ow! He does so much damage. Yes, roll when there's absolutely nothing there. <laughs> Caught him mid-air. That would teach him a lesson, I expect. Oh crap, I really don't want to die here. That guy does a hell of a lot of damage. Come on, smash! Really? Come on. That's BS and you know it. <laughs> Missing. I think I did hit him anyway. Cool. Cool. Right now, let's try and deal with Flame Dwarf again, shall we? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Really? Come off it. Ah. Okay, let's try attempt 9000 at getting past hammered bastard. It's crazy. I don't like ever have trouble with black phantoms normally. For some reason that guy is giving me so much trouble. It's really weird. Oh, he got through them too. You know what, I'm just going to poison you. I think it's probably the combination of speed and very painful attacks that will one-shot me. And his ridiculously long range and health. He's practically faster than I am, even though he's wearing all that armour. That is pretty insane. I can just be cheap and do this, I guess. I should knock him off the edge, that would really make my day. Oh wow, adaptive AI! He realised what I was doing, apparently. Come on. You are the master bastard. Yeah. That always happens whenever I try out something new, like using a hammer. I get squashed painfully. Oh, oh well. I was only going to use it for one part anyway, so it's alright. Let's put our armor back on so we're not naked. Now uh, we'll swap to... Do -do -do -do. Phoenix Palmer, where's that? <laughs> no, that's not it. I did a little bit of inventory management the other day, but nothing too, <laughs> nothing too much. Kings, where are the kings' gauntlets? That's mad warrior gauntlets. I've lost them now. Where on earth? Ah, there we go. And then just the king's gloves. Uh, leggings, rather. Which are around here somewhere. There we go. Jeez, I can't believe I died so many times, that stupid guy. Oh, you're both still alive. Ah, Archer Man. So, here is something interesting that I wanted to talk about 14 years ago, before Hammer Guy started murdering me over and over. But these doors are about to come up too. 
are what I believe you would call golems. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, they didn't drop anything. Yeah. We want him to get his sword out. Then we want to kill him over here. Notice the souls won't go t into, like, my soul inventory. Instead, they'll kill me with bloody arrows. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, you're probably close enough there. And watch this. See? They go into the golems. And that is one of the sort of the things that King Vendrick stole from the giants. The ability to create golems, apparently. Pretty cool, huh? And what what are golems? Well, golems are basically artificial well not artificial intelligence, artificial life. It depends. There are many ways you could describe him, but they're quite a common fantasy trope. Jesus, that's a lot of them. That's a real lot of them. Oh, come on. Can you turn around, guy? I'm dead. Yeah. I shouldn't have bothered with that. Ah. <sighs> Right, so, I'll talk about it on the run back. Golems are basically constructs. They have no... Generally, they have no will of their own. Look how many times I've died. All from that, that's ridiculous. But yeah, they have no sort of will of their own, no sentience of their own. They're generally made for a purpose, like me getting hit. <laughs> no, they're... Hang on a second. I love when people message me, even though I tell them not to message me. Like I say, I'm going to be busy for the next hour or so. Please don't message me. No, oh, it's important. Do you want pizza? I don't want no pizza. Screw your pizza. Ah. Anyway. Back to Gollum's. <laughs> I just realized they're going to message me on my phone now. <laughs> oh, I'll have to turn my phone off next time I die. Yeah. They're artificial constructs that are made for a, not always a singular purpose, but for a purpose. And in this case, it seems like the ones at the door, or maybe all of them are made specifically to open and close doors, which is kind of silly, but we know that Vendrick used the golem's power to build the castle itself. So it's also probably the ones that are by the door are actually the ones that were um how should i put it they were once made to make the castle and now that the castle is built they they fulfilled their purpose and all they really do now is uh well they just sit there opening doors you know something that bugs me about these enemies with crossbows they load their crossbows ridiculously fast. Which is stupid, because... The thing about crossbows is they do not load that fast. If if crossbows were that fast to load, people would have never moved on to guns. They would have just started machine gunning out crossbows. But yeah, that's another thing that kind of vexes me. Which is funny, because in Dark Souls, and I think Demon Souls, the crossbow enemies did actually have to, like load at a sort of realistic pace. <laughs> I guess in Dark Souls 3 we'll have enemies using like what they call muskets and things and like rapid firing them somehow. Even though it took them like a 30 seconds to load each shot. Ah, Just enemies with projectiles and games always manage to be super damn annoying. Like, oh my god. Archers and Dynasty Warriors, no way. They're so bad. They're probably the worst game to have archers in because you fight like 50 of them at once whilst fighting other enemies. It's horrible. I think though I can kill the crossbow guy on the left because he should be near enough to the door. Yeah, you're dead. Moo. Moo? Elephants don't moo. What what do elephants do? They 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 honk. Honk. 
gonna kill this bastard. No, I'm not. I'm gonna miss. Come on. That should open... That should activate the golem. And these golems are... Rather interestingly, they're using souls. And who else do we know that uses souls? Well... To be honest, the Emerald Herald. She uses souls too. Yeah, that hopefully was... Oh, it wasn't close enough. Oh, I guess I'd already done the other one. Man, so many enemies came out of there, that was ridiculous. Oh, crap, and they're actually coming back again. Why did I even do that? I'm really stupid. Ah. Oh, crap, he... No! Feck, 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 run. I keep forgetting you can't actually turn around whilst casting, which is really stupid. At least not with that spell. Damn, they're so fast, these guys. It's insane. Damn it. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Ah, These bastards. Bastard swordsmen, they're becoming some of my most hated enemies. Because they're so ridiculous. I think it's because they have a lot of weird ass hyper armor and huge damage. Oh, look at that, lock on fail. And no, it wasn't me. I know about going like, but I didn't do that. It was just lock on fail. Blue, blue, blue. They all pop up from down here. Hey, your door is shut. I hope it stays shut forever. Oops. Ugh. Do you know what else I really don't like about Dark Souls 2, uh, like, new gameplay mechanics? The fact that if you use all your stamina, you then cannot run until you get it back. That, that just, again, is just artificial difficulty. It doesn't add anything to the game. It's just... It's just stupid, really. And I really don't like that change. This is the... Uh, the throne room of the... Um, people. <laughs> the people! Uh, I want to go to the bonfire first, and then we'll come back and talk to Welliger. Just in case I get invaded whilst I'm talking and die and have to do all that run again. Or it's just to, you know, just to be on the safe side, because I fed up with doing that run. Here are the Cyan Knights, by the way. Who I was originally very interested in because of a typo. Well, not a typo, but an error on the Bandai Namco's front. Because originally, the, um... That's kind of fun. I pushed him along the floor. The Phoenix Palmer, in its original description, belonged to Cyan. It had been commissioned for Cyan by King Vendrick. But that was just an error, because they gave it... For some reason, they swapped the item. I don't know how they managed it, but they managed to get two shield descriptions mixed up. Uh, I don't know how they managed that, but... And it was quite disappointing, because when I saw the actual Phoenix Palmer... The description was kind of not as interesting, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's not a huge issue, to be honest. Wait, what if there's actually, like... Knowing Dark Souls 2, there's probably going to be an enemy behind here, isn't there? Well, that was weird glitchy. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's use a charm thingy. Okay, and we'll swap to a ring just in case. Because I know this place is, like, this is basically the end of the game to my right, so it would make sense for them to put something there. Something horrible. No. Surprisingly. Suspiciously, unless it's through here. 
Oh, very weird. But, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to complain, you know. Alright, let's go back to Welliger. Hmm. How strange. Yeah, let's go see what Welliger's got, Welliger's got to say. Now, even if I get invaded and die, it doesn't really matter. Oh, right, yeah. Damn it. Look how much damage they do, it's insane. Shit, he's gonna kill me. Damn it, just... Die! <laughs> Stop being annoying. Ah, putting enemies in this tiny little room. Up a ladder that I don't really like that to be honest. Has the other guy seen me? I don't think he did. I think you can parry these guys. Should I try? Yeah, I'll die if I do it. Bonk. See, in that time I one shot him. Someone said there's direct hit system on backstabs, but I don't know how that would work. All right, let's talk to Relega. Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? This castle is the domain of King Vendrick. Is your trespass intentional? His Highness. Where has he gone? You are a guest of our castle. I am the Chancellor, Veliger. Do you seek an audience with my lord, King Vendrick? Unfortunately, His Highness is absent. My lord, the King has... The Queen has taken him. My lord made magnificent findings on souls. An accomplishment for the ages. He vanquished the four great ones and built this kingdom upon their souls. Our king has watched over this land since ages long, long ago. King Vendrick, we must fight back or the giants will take Dranglake. The king had a dear queen, a woman of unparalleled beauty. Long ago, the queen came to us, alone, from a faraway land. She warned our lord of the looming threat across the seas, of the giants. The king crossed the ocean and defeated the giants with the queen at his side. The king commandeered their power and created the golems. With the golems, the king created this castle. To celebrate victory and to show his love, his gratitude to his queen. The queen brought peace to this land and to her king. A peace so deep, it was like the dark. Is this some sort of a dream? Where am I? What has happened to our castle? Who are you? And by whose permission do you stand before me? Welcome, visitor. Our guests are treated with honor. Tell me if you should require anything. Lots of very interesting stuff there. He vanquished the old ones and built Drang Lake, founded Drang Lake on their corpses. That would could not like not that it does, but it could suggest that that um he was indeed a chosen undead. Try item in short. Try bonfire. Yeah, it's quite quite what. Nope. Nope. Yeah, 
you you go away. That kind of surprised me then. <laughs> um, that was that was not there in New Game. That was a New Game Plus thing. Chest. Oh wait, I've yeah, I've actually seen a video of some guy fighting. Oh, that was this room, huh? Cool. Spooky noise. Ooh, creepy. What's with the noises? Are they gonna come back? Well, I'm probably if I respawn. But anyway. Um He's also wearing the same armor I am wearing, funnily enough. But yeah. Vendrick could be a chosen undead because he defeated the four old ones. Could, but that you know. It generally is the chosen undead who does that sort of stuff, you know? But who can say? And Nishandra, people are saying about the, um... They think because she came from a far away land that she can't possibly be Manus. But that doesn't really make sense. I mean, who's to say she didn't go somewhere else and then come back? And they're saying, oh, because... Because she came from somewhere far away... That means that this place cannot be Lordran in the future. Which, again... It's likely that she just went somewhere else and then when I come from across the sea and there's nothing in this room even new New Game Plus. But yeah, um, that guy Weliger has a lot of interesting implications from his dialogue. That actually scared me for a minute, I was like, oh my god, he respawned somehow. Whoa! That's not very good. What's wrong with your neck? What's wrong with your neck? Yeesh. Uh, anyway. And uh, yeah, and he used the golems to build this damn castle. Lots of summon signs. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. <laughs> this part was originally gonna be really short, but it's taken me like an hour to record it because I kept dying and running around. Uh, anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow where we will, uh... Well, tomorrow we'll have an audience. With this guy who's using my armor. My armor, not yours. But yeah, tomorrow we'll have an audience with Queen Nishandra. Until then, take care. Die. Well, whatever, I'll risk it. I'll just block and see what happens. Oh. Ooh, that'll leave a nice scar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So apparently either Pate or Kratom has died.